What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a little Inside the Mind gameplay in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said, if you're new to the channel, we release videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player in this game. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and like I said, hit that subscribe button. Now, in this video, I'm running the deuce close offense on offense out of the Seattle playbook. And then on defense, I'm gonna be running probably some nickel 335 or some nickel normal, just kind of have to see how it goes. Um, but I've been testing out this deuce close scheme. It's actually a really um, unique, I think, and fun offense. It's really, really good. Um, in my opinion, it's like one, probably one of the best offenses in the game right now. But I really, really like this play. Um, the rollout quarter corner routes this year are like really, 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 really good. Um, they are really, really good in this game. And so because of that, I can leverage the power of Patrick Mahomes' Dash and Deadeye, Escape Artist, all of that good stuff. But the other thing that I really like about this is you don't actually need vertical pull routes for, for those this year either. So I don't have to have, you know, I don't, I don't have to really do anything other than just simply call hike, roll out and throw the corner with a drag underneath it. And it's really, really hard to stop. I mean, you see here with Mahomes, you can throw the ball in so weird angles and stuff like that. And the cool part about Deuce Close is it, it's an under center formation. And this year you're gonna see under center is gonna kind of make a comeback, I think. Uh, under center at least so far without there being any crazy pressure yet uh, at least crazy pressure in terms of the sense that they're gonna be able to use a rush through the a gap before you can even throw the ball um, that's been making this so good and this the cool part about this offense is I'm actually it's actually really not necessarily just deuce close you're gonna see that I'm gonna go to some pistol ace I've been talking a little bit about how good the pistol ace um, halfback power or strong power is this year I think it's one of the better runs in the game so I've got the power I've got the PA boot I've got some stuff out of pistol ace that I've been labbing and then I've also got uh, obviously the deuce close and then I've got a lot of other ace personnel formation so check out the Seattle playbook um, I might have a little bit more uh, stuff for you guys out of here this is a fun playbook to run and I think it's one of the better playbooks in Madden 22 so far so if you've not checked out the Seattle playbook uh, obviously their gun bunch is really good um, so they've got the best bunch in my opinion they've got the, a pretty good bunch tight end it's not the best but it's one of the best um, it's probably the best in terms of the fact that you can combine it with bunch and they've also got the trips tight end offset formation which is a really good running formation as well so you just got a lot of powerful formations uh, in the Seattle book and so I would encourage anyone that's watching this video to at least check the playbook out um, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to run it it just means you might want to take a look at it I think it's a really really fun and really uh, good playbook to run at this point in the season all right guys so on defense I'm actually gonna start out in the nickel normal and the biggest reason why is because of the pressure that you can create with nickel normal I think nickel normal creates um, probably one of the better pressures at least at this point in the season it's really good pressure um, I've got some other concepts that we'll you know get into throughout different videos and stuff like that but uh, I really do like the pressure that I can create out of this nickel normal package uh, the Bucks Lance Show 2 is one of the best plays every single year um, just because of how the pressure works from it. It's a really, really good blitz. The other thing that I've noticed about Nickel Normal, and I'm not doing a great job of it right now, but it's one of the better, uh, it's one of the better formations, in my opinion, uh, for shooting, shooting the gap. Um, so I can shoot some gaps out of this. I can kind of get, get in there and play the run a little bit. Uh, the Nickel Blitz 2 is obviously at my disposal, you know, so I have some different things like that that I can do. So, you know, you know, defense is really hard this year on Next Gen uh, PS5, in my opinion, and that's why I've actually kind of shifted to the, that little ace personnel set. And the reason why I like it so much is because the defense really can't, like it's, it's really, really hard 
for me to turn the ball over because, you know, I'm running or I'm throwing a rollout corner or I'm throwing the ball away. You know, and it's not just that simple, but um, sometimes it actually is. Anyway, you see how I can get through there? The only problem is I haven't been able to make uh, a tackle yet on this drive, but I, I have been coming through uh, on the ball. And so, uh, again, like I said, I like to buck slant three. I like just the general, you know, cover three defense, I think, is probably the best way to play this year. So he's in a symmetrical formation kind of like I am. So you have to kind of, you know, you have to kind of watch that. He's just running stretch every single play. Um, so I'm actually going to, I'm probably going to shift over into this big nickel. I'm going to go ahead and kind of set this up. But he's he's kind of just running stretch every play, which I think is actually not a bad strategy uh, this year's game. All right, so I can get through. I just can't make the tackle. So I got to figure out how to do that. Um, as far as like zone drops and stuff, I'm actually not doing a ton of zone drops this year, at least yet. I don't know. I'm still kind of testing some things out. Um, trying to get a feel for, you know, if zone drops are even going to help you this year. I mean, defense is rough this year, so. I'm going to really try to shoot in here. I just can't make the play. Like, I just can't, I just can't turn my body and make the play like I could last year. Last year, I could make that play every time. This year, we're just not able to do it. Uh, real quick, I'm going to actually, when I get down in the red zone like this, and I get, like, inside the 15-yard line, I'll take my, I'll almost always put my zone drops uh, back on default, and the biggest reason why I do that is because you're going to see you're going to get a little bit better uh, just zone depth. There we go. Okay, so that time we actually did okay. Um, only gave up four. Um, you know, I think the, the beauty of the big nickel, and this is, I do personally, you know, people have asked, I've talked about this before, but I've said that the big nickel is the best, is probably going to be the best defense in the game, and I think it actually will. Uh, over time uh, it, it, it's a really good defense because of the fact of the balance um, because I can stop like with the big nickel you see here I didn't stop stretch he's actually gonna score but I did have a player in position whereas the nickel normal you can't get that person into that position so that's why I would say you know big nickel in my opinion right now is the number one defense um, you can create all the pressure that you need from it. You can, um, and then you can also, you can also create a lot of other concepts as well from coverages and stuff. The one thing that I haven't been able to consistently do out of, uh, really any defense this year at this point is be able to consistently stop someone over and over and over again. I feel like you're going to get maybe two stops a game and you really need to capitalize on them. So anyways. So we're going to get the ball back on offense. And like I said, you know, this is this year's game is like if I was playing, man, I I'm telling you, I would I would go for it almost every time. And of course, that's about the biggest thing that we can't have happen. One of my least favorite features of Madden 22, actually it is 100% my least favorite feature of Madden 22 is this momentum stuff that they put into the regular uh, like the head-to-head -head mode. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think it's absolutely a waste of uh, just a waste of time and it actually makes the game way more frustrating to play because stuff like that happens Just because you're the just because you're the visiting team. So anyways So let's see if we can kind of slow this run down um, again. He's just he's just running single back uh, stretch So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a little bit of pressure off that try to seal the edge and that didn't work and he's gonna score <laughs> He's just running stretch every play, and and he's you know he's got his momentum, and his momentum's gonna allow him to win the game because that's what we've decided to do. So, anyways, defense is just so hard to do, man. It's it's hard to play defense in this year's game. I'm like labbing and labbing and labbing, and like there's just no. I I don't have I I have good blitzes, but I don't have you know good coverage behind the blitzes yet. The run run game is so. Um, I should have just spare caught that, man. Uh, but the run game is just so, like, strong. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not like it's. Over, I wouldn't say it's overpowered yet. But what I would say is because the user is so 
uh, backwards in this year's game, and because because of the combination, because the users backwards and the outside guys don't really hold an edge, it makes things like stretch really, really, really good. As you can see right here, I'm gonna go with stretch myself, and we're gonna pick up you know about nine yards and be able to get ourselves a, a good down and distance. Now, second and one, you can kind of do anything in this situation. Um, I'm just going to go to kind of my favorite play and just see kind of how he defends me. And it should be a pretty good dot, but my tight end, somehow Patrick Mahomes, who has the dashing dead eye ability, which allows him to have perfect throw accuracy on the run, had an inaccurate throw. Um, okay, so now as you see here, this is one of the great features of momentum. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see my play art or anything. I'm just going to have to snap the ball and pray. So of course we're just going to go to stretch and just pick this, pick up this first down. Stretch is really good this year, man. I I, I can't overstate or over, over sell that enough. Uh, really try and test out stretch. I'm in a lab working on some stretch defenses and some run defenses and things like that. So. More to come on that. As you can see, I'm not doing a great job. <laughs> but what I like about the Seattle playbook is you not only have stretch, but you can really easily audible up to the pistol ace and be able to, you know, basically just run, you know, strong power. Then you have these easy blitz beaters, as you can see right here. He sent a man pressure at me, and it's really easy for me to be. I just, I just literally throw an out route. Like that's all I need to do, just simple. Um, and then if that's open, right there, that was a little bit of a user mistake. But if that's if that's not open, then you know that's one thing. But those out routes are almost always open. Okay, so right here, uh, I'm actually going to go to this version of this play. This is one of my favorite shot plays here. I'm going to double team here in case I can roll out and try to hit circle. That should be with McCole Hardman over there. And Mahomes is like completely frozen. We'll just hit the drag. Try and hurdle just for fun. I mean, you see, I mean, it's it's hard to get stopped. Like, he's blitzing a lot of people at me, and they're not coming in. Um, the under center pass blocking has been significantly improved from last year. Uh, it's a lot better. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not it's not bulletproof, but it is good. It is better than what it has been. So six to fourteen here in the second quarter. As you can see, he's just basically blitzing everybody and praying. Uh, what we're going to do right here is we're going to do a little delay fade. What I love about this little route to triangle is it's a really smooth route. It creates a natural little high-low. And then I'm just going to take Mahomes and throw a dot in the corner. And that's what I'm talking about, man. These corner routes are really, really good. Um, you know, this offense is really, really good. It's simple. It's really not complicated. But it's really, really hard for people to stop. This, uh, this deuce close offense is really, really good. It's also really fun. Um, it's probably the most fun I've had on offense in a hot second because it's just everything works, you know. Um, so anyway, right here I'm going to go to halfback wham. I'm just going to try it. Halfback wham, unfortunately for me, has been like hit or miss. Uh, right there it was hit, right? Um, it's been hit or miss. Most of the time I at least get a yard, but it's there was a year before this. It was back when this formation was really good. I want to say that was Madden 18. It might have been before that. It might have been after that. But, um, but anyways, that now it's you know it's still really good. It's really good in this game, but the wham is not as good as it used to be. So, okay, we're gonna run a double safety pressure here, just to try to kind of, kind of get at him a little bit. There we go. That time we're able to make the play. So you see there, the shoot is open. I just got to get through that gap quick enough to be able to pull it off. And you see there, it's like if he runs, if he if he just runs at the side of my my backer, it's it's really not not a good look for me on defense. So I'm gonna go to cover three buzz batch here. I really got to figure out how to shoot this. 
There we go. That's not bad run defense. Now, now you're starting to see. We're starting to kind of clamp a little bit. I mean, he has run stretch literally, I think, every play. Um, we're going to call a timeout here just kind of make him have to make a decision whether or not he's going to go for this. I'm sure he is. And if he comes out in single back ace, we're probably going to eat that. Okay. We're going to come out in this 44 split. This is probably my favorite run defense as of late. Um, that's exactly what it was last year. We're really trying to just get down in the run. And I think we got him. Yep, we did, and we get the ball back. That's a big that's a big stop for the defense. And, and I'm telling you, man, you get one stop in this game, like it's it's hard to it's hard to lose when you get a stop. Obviously I had the fumble. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go back to stretch here just real quick, just try to pop one. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like like stretch is so good. And if they're not ready for it, you can easily pop it. Uh, right here, we're gonna go to strong power. Uh, this is one of my favorite little run plays. Didn't get me too much there, that's fine. Strong power is kind of a hit or miss run play. You'll either get a lot of yards or you won't get any. If they're blitzing a lot of people like he's doing, you're not gonna get as much yards. I'm gonna go back to stretch here, just, to, just cause I think I might be able to hit one here. And that was good run D. So now we're gonna go to that boot, PA, PA boot. And Mahomes is gonna make a great throw, but unfortunately we didn't block the guy. And you see that what he's doing, uh, kind of in response to the Deuce Close offense, um, is he's deciding that his plan is gonna be, I'm just gonna blitz everybody on my team. You know, that's going to be how I'm going to do it, and it is what it is. So, anyways, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to get outside uh, with Mahomes. I think I'm going to be able to do it, yep. And Travis Kelsey comes up huge. That's a big dot. Now I'm in a kind of an interesting predicament. i got to go uh, move quick, get Mahomes out of the pocket here, and we're just going to scramble in for the touchdown. So that's a huge touchdown, and that's part of the reason why I really wanted to get the Chiefs, because you've got Mahomes, who has the dashing dead eye ability, but he also has that escape artist, so he should be able to make most of the throws on the run. Uh, he doesn't have Gunslinger, but I find that that dashing dead eye, if you throw out of the pocket, that thing really zips it in there. So that's a big touchdown before half, in my opinion, and now that kind of sets us up to be able to come out in the second half and at least play with the lead against somebody who runs the ball pretty much every single play. Um, you know, so hopefully we'll be able just to get off the field here. We've got three seconds left. And we'll just have to see what he calls. And just kind of see where he's at. If he comes out in that single back. Okay, so he's gonna come out in. He's gonna come out in gun bunch. So I'm gonna come out in big nickel. And I'm just gonna go. I'm honestly just gonna go to man. Do a little pressure. penalty somehow we committed pass interference and now he's going to get a free field goal that's bad defense by me that's i should have just played man coverage and i think he's going to let me get away with it actually So we get the stop there. I feel like that was a bad decision by him. Obviously, it was a bad decision by me to play cover three. I find that cover three, when you deal with press, like, I don't know, man. Press just press just messes everything up for, for cover three this year. And it seems like I've been getting bombed a lot by, and I've been watching a lot of people get bombed a lot out of their cover three. 
So anyway, that being said, let me check my coaching adjustments real quick. He's going to go back to single back ace. So I'm going to go to cover four quarters. This is kind of my play. There we go. So that's a good stop right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull that safety down. That's kind of my trick. If someone's really pounding the rock a lot, I'll create a nine-man box. And he is going to go to bunch here. Got that tight end up the seam. That's that's a really good route, man. That's a really really good route. I gotta be better about being prepared for that one. That's QB scramble, man. The QB scramble is good. So, so I'm talking about, man. It's it's hard to get a stop. He's you, you're trying to get a feel for him. And, you know, basically it was like I'm gonna run stretch every single play until you show me you can stop it. And now it's I'm gonna run double post and burn all this other stuff from Bum Bunch. So that's throwing me off a lot in this in that drive right there. Didn't really quite know what he's doing. I was surprised that he's in mean, the last four or five plays he's thrown. So. Anyways, I just need to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, I gotta play a little bit better defensively for sure. It's just, it's just, it's just a nightmare in this game, we gotta stop. But anyway. Okay, so back on offense. Um, and honestly, I mean, he hasn't really stopped me, so there's nothing, nothing really different. Like I said, you know, the stretch is so hard to guard. If you can get a good seal, you see that right there. I mean, and I'll take I'll take that. And this the cool part about this offense, I feel like it could be a really pass heavy offense. It could also be a really run ball control uh, style of offense. And I think it's just up to you how you want to run it. So, you know, you can pass every play if you wanted to. You can also run every play. Um, it's just it's got the it's got some of the best plays uh, in the game, in my opinion. He's been he's been like okay. So here's here's a little uh, little 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 deal here. We're gonna take a little bit of a shot, and the reason why is because of how aggressive he's been. So we're gonna go to our shot play if I can get the ball hyped here. And he is gonna blitz everybody, and we're just gonna chuck it up. And unfortunately, Mahomes is not going to be able to give him the ball even though he's wide open. But I mean, see how he's just, he's just blitzing everybody. He doesn't know what to do to stop this. So his plan is he's just going to blitz everybody. So now what I'm going to do is block even more people. And I'm just trying to get this route to Tyreek off. And look at the protection you get. You get really good protection this year. And there you see there's the corner route. And I'm telling you, man, corner routes this year, they're a beast, man. They're hard to stop. I was hoping that corner route would give me a little bit more separation than it did. Um, you know, honestly, we're just going to block everybody. The way he's playing... And that's the, that's where Gunslinger comes in handy. I should have tried to get out of the pocket there. I didn't. The reason I like to get out of the pocket for several reasons, but one of the reasons why uh, I think getting out of the pocket is the best way to play um, is because it gets you away from all of these block sheds. So if I can just get out here on the right side here, just like that right there, now, and my homes is gonna throw a book. Okay, that's, that was a bad read. I mean, it was the right read, but it was not a good throw. Um, but anyways, if, if Mahomes is going to... And here we're going to go to that bench play. And on 
honestly, we're just gonna do kind of a simple thing. We're kind of really just trying to get out of here with points. Get the homes out. Throw that crosser. And that's gonna give us a decent uh, down and distance for this. So hopefully we can get a, a pass off here. There we go. So, so anyways, what I was gonna say about, um, what I was gonna say about out of the pocket is it keeps you from all those block sheds and it allows you to have, I think, a lot of, a lot, just an easier way to, to deal with things. Anyways, whenever you face this mid blood stuff, if you can hit a stretch, it's typically not very good against the stretch. I actually played it pretty well there. If I have, I don't think I have that. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is, this is the play that I need. Let's see how this works out for me. There's that tight end delay fade. Really good little route right there. Little dump off route. Not sure if he was using the tight end or if he blitzed the guy that was guarding him or what, but that's, that's I mean, there's just a lot to guard, man. And I, I, I think it's actually harder to contain the rollout from the under center this year than it is from the pocket. Because with escape artists, you can get out of there so much faster I um, mean, you saw me just jet out. He was blitzing like eight people, and I was still able to get out of the pocket. And uh, I think that's what makes part of what, it's definitely one of the number one reasons why uh, this offense is so hard to hard to stop. And, and every offense, in my opinion, in Madden 22, is hard to stop. But I think that the deuce close really does give you some advantages um, and some really good balance, in my opinion. So. Anyways, um, okay, we're gonna go to a little cover three. And kind of see what he does. See if he goes back to that verticals play. Yep, gonna go back to verticals. Cover three is not like great against verticals, but it's okay. Um, you just don't want to be in cover. You do not want to be in quarters coverage against verticals in this year's game. Okay, here we're gonna send a little heat. Let's see if I can drag here. Oh, just stuck. Just sort of stuck with that uh, back. So that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. A little bit of game management here. Obviously, we're both, you know, having, I don't think either one of us has been stopped. I think I stopped him one time and he got a fumble on me. So, kind of a tough game so far, kind of a grinded out game. Take that away. He's going to go up top. And I got lucky that he overthrew it. Uh, the vertical route did not play what I thought it was going to play there, so. I need to figure out what I'm going to call. Honestly, I think the best bet is just to try to blitz everybody and pray. Um, if he's going to run vertical specifically, I just got to take the back, basically. There we go, got him right as he threw, sack fumble. And that's a huge sack fumble for six. Way to kind of hang in there. You see the pressure. That's what I'm talking about, about Big Nickel over G. Like, it has everything you need. You can send pressure left. You can send pressure right. It's easy to set them up. You can stop the run. At least in my opinion, we were able to kind of slow down that run a little bit. That's why he's passing so much. So you can stop the run. You can, um, you, as you saw right there, we can send pretty good pressure. You've got all the different coverages at your disposal. You cover six, cover nine, cover four, cover four palms, cover four quarters. The one coverage you don't have, um, which is actually interesting, I actually think this coverage is a good coverage this year, and that's the cover four drop uh, defense out of the nickel 335. And I'm gonna talk, I wanna kinda jump into that actually. 
And I'm going to take a time out and everything. Just to kind of get this. Because I, I have actually been testing this out. Um, the two defenses that I keep coming back to. Kind of base cover threes. And then also this uh, cover four drop defense. I find this, at least so far, has been hard for me personally um, to play against. So I'm going to try this out a little bit. Just see how it goes. But you see how that takes that seam read away. That's so good. There we go. Good defense. And you don't really have that out of big nickel. I mean, you, you can kind of create it, but you don't have it. Um, and I think that the match coverages don't always play zone drops the best. So, anyways, all that to say, we're going to run some cover for a drop. And I just want you to kind of pay attention to see kind of how it does. Um, there you see, there's that wheel route. And I did a video on that as well. That real wheel route is really, really, really tough. Um, you know, one thing that I can do. Sneed, gonna play by Sneed there. Let me try. Um, let me actually try this. Let's see here. Let's put these in. All right, let's try quarters. He's kind of, you know, he's kind of been a little bit of a creature of habit. He's just kind of running the same stuff, but that's a big play. Um, let me check, make sure I'm on conservative. I am on conservative, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and quit out. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to get my free Madden 22 schemes all season long, I'm going to be releasing them all season long in my text message membership. You can sign up for that by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I'm going to put my number in the description as well for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's how you run that deuce close scheme to perfection. It's really, really good offense. It's really hard to stop it too.